Okay, so we've been uh, here today to deliver a message to Gordon Campbell, and it's don't mess with the success of bikes, Gordon Campbell. If you care about carbon the way you say you do, and you care about fitness the way that you claim to, <laughs> then act now and get that ridiculous HST off bikes. I want to say thank you to everybody for <laughs> participating today. You've been a skookum audience. You're sending a clear message to government. And uh, as we end the program, I'm going to go to an open mic and invite uh, anybody who wants to take a moment and say a word uh, to come up to the stage and uh, let the audience know how they're feeling. And I believe I saw, did I see Brad Slade somewhere? <coughs> you might be one of those people. Open mic. Hi there folks, my name is Brad, Brad Slade. I am with FightHST.com. Um, I'm out here today, one, because I'm impressed as heck with what Lana's done. There's a lot of you people out here, there's 4,000 plus names, and you know, regardless of whether it is bikes, groceries, I stand behind anybody who is against this tax. This tax is just plain and simply wrong. Um, I came across something this morning while I was reading budget coverage. I've never known this. I'm not sure if it's 100% true, but I've seen it in a few different blogs today. Apparently all you students out there with your tuition are paying more money to the government than they make in corporate taxes. I'm not 100% sure that's true, but to me that sounds wrong. It is totally wrong. They are taking the money from the people who can least afford it and letting the people who can afford it take a walk. I would like to encourage all of you to sign any and every petition you ever come across against this tax, whether it is on bicycles, whether it is on strata fees, whether it is on home costs, you name it. There are so many things that are affected. And I have a challenge for each and every one of you. I'd really love you guys to do this. I did this the other day. I went into Safeway. I asked the manager, because he had a free moment. I said, so have you got a definition of basic groceries yet? He says, no, we haven't been given anything like that yet. He says, basically, if it has a tax on it now, it's going to have HST on it now. Talk to everybody you do business with. Any goods or services you get from people, whether it is the bikes, whether it's your food, whether it's your newspaper, whether it's your internet connection, ask them. What is this tax going to do to you? What is this tax going to make you do to me? Because quite frankly, the ramifications are appalling. I mean, bikes today have been tied into healthcare. Bikes today have been tied into carbon emissions. All because of this tax. Think about it. Bouchard Gardens says, at the beginning of all this mess, back in September, they said that there's a very real chance they can close. Now, they're the biggest mom and pop operation on the island, if not the province. If they go under, or they put people out of work, how will that affect their world-class attraction status? How will that affect the cruise ships docking over here that pump in something like $30 million a year into the local economy? And if they don't come, what's going to happen to all the shops down over there on Government Street? What's going to happen to this city? Ask questions. We don't get answers from Mr. Campbell and his liberal friends. They don't seem to want to talk to anybody. So the onus is on you guys to educate yourselves. We have a table over here that is collecting sign-up forms. That's my buddy Josh over there waving his arms there. If you are interested in coming and canvassing, not just to stop this on bikes, but to stop this, period, please come visit us, sign up. We'll get in touch with you. We need as many bodies out there to do this. With all due respect, there is no one single person who's going to stop this tax from happening. It won't be Lana, although she's doing her darndest. It won't be Carol, although she's doing her darndest. It certainly won't be Mr. Campbell. It won't be Mr. Van Der Zam, and it won't be me. It's going to be each and every one of you who put your name on this petition that goes into the house with legal consequences. They cannot just go, gee, that's nice, and send it off to records. They have to act on it. I encourage you, sign anything, sign everything to protest this tax, but make sure your name goes on that citizen's initiative that starts on April 6th. And even better, be one of the people out there collecting signatures. 
I'm going to get out of the way. There's a lot of other people, I'm sure, that want to talk. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting us down. Thank you, Brad, and, and thank you, everyone, for making time in your busy days to come here today. Uh, because there's a lot of activity inside the House now around the petition and question period, I, I think I'm going to draw it to a close there. Thank you very much, and good day.